Let me summarize the lengthy tale. This is what unfolded in June 2022. The James Webb Space Telescope stumbled upon numerous distant galaxies during its inaugural deep field image capture. Suddenly, galaxies began emerging from the obscurity of time and space, unveiling themselves. The universe, for the first time, started appearing considerably more peculiar than we had previously imagined. Galaxies surfaced from what we had presumed to be the dark ages of the universe, casting uncertainty upon the tenets of our cosmic model. And it wasn't merely a handful of galaxies. The Webb Telescope identified hundreds of them. Among these galaxies, one was pinpointed by Austin astronomer, he christened it Macy's Galaxy, attributing it to his daughter as they chanced upon it on her birthday. Initially, the scientist and his team posited that the galaxy had formed almost immediately after the Big Bang. In cosmic timescales, indeed, they approximated it to be a mere 290 million years post the Big Bang. However, subsequent scrutiny using more sophisticated equipment revealed that it is approximately 100 million years older than initially thought. Yet, this does not diminish its distinction as the oldest galaxy ever spotted, originating only 390 million years post the Big Bang. Macy's Galaxy has now received official recognition as the oldest galaxy ever documented. However, the current title holder for the oldest observed galaxy may not retain its position for long. Indeed, approximately 10 additional galaxies are currently under scrutiny by the Sears team, and there is a possibility that they might surpass Macy's Galaxy in age. The prospect of discovering galaxies even younger than Macy's raises intriguing questions. The temporal interval between the Big Bang and the genesis of the initial stars and star systems is steadily diminishing with each fresh revelation courtesy of the James Webb Space Telescope. Yet, the telescope's accomplishments extend beyond this singular achievement within just a year since its launch. Recently, it unveiled a type of star previously only theorized to exist. NASA's potent new celestial observer may have, at last, captured a glimpse of this elusive stellar entity. With this revelation, our comprehension of the cosmos undergoes a profound shift. The James Webb Space Telescope has identified three potential dark stars, sustained by particles of annihilating dark matter. Yes, you read that correctly. Dark matter, believed to compose the majority of the material universe, remains imperceptible to conventional telescopes. Our means of detecting its presence lie in gravitational effects, like the amplification of light when a massive galaxy passes in front of a distant star. Analogous to ordinary stars, such as our Sun, being fueled by normal matter, dark stars could derive their energy from particles of dark matter. This development is undeniably exhilarating and holds the potential to unveil answers to the profound questions we harbor about the universe. The existence of dark stars, if proven, could serve as a crucial element in deciphering the origins of light in the cosmos. Remarkably, for approximately 15 years, scientists have postulated that dark stars constituted among the earliest entities our universe generated when it was a mere 700 million years old. Webb's observations indicate that the three remote objects hailing from the early epochs of the universe exhibit key characteristics aligning with the concept of dark stars. These entities emerged just 300 million years after the Big Bang, yet possess the mass and maturity typically associated with galaxies billions of years old. Furthermore, their smaller-than-anticipated size introduces another intriguing facet to the cosmic puzzle. Here's where Fritz Swick's tired light theory comes into play. According to this proposition, the red shift we observe may not solely result from galaxies moving away from us. Rather, it could be a consequence of light gradually losing energy during its extensive journey across the universe. 
Initially, this theory contradicted our observations of the universe. However, as Gupta suggests, if we allow this theory to coexist with the concept of an expanding universe, we can reinterpret the redshift as an amalgamation of both these phenomena. But Gupta's contributions don't end there. He also introduces a novel idea rooted in physicist Paul Deere's hypothesis regarding coupling constants. These constants are fundamental physical principles governing particle interactions. According to Dare, these constants may have undergone changes over time. If we allow for the evolution of these constants, the time frame for the formation of early galaxies extends from a few hundred million years to several billion years. This could elucidate why the galaxies we observe appear more advanced than expected for their age. Concluding his exploration, Gupta challenges the conventional interpretation of the cosmological constant, representing dark energy propelling the universe to expand at an accelerated pace. Instead, he proposes a new constant that accommodates the evolving coupling constants. This modification may aid in comprehending why early galaxies were smaller than anticipated and present a more precise depiction of the universe. In Gupta's words, our newly formulated model extends the time for galaxy formation by several billion years, suggesting that the universe is 26.7 billion years old, not the previously estimated 13.7 billion years. This revelation implies that the universe might be considerably older than previously believed, potentially shedding light on some of its most profound mysteries. Take, for instance, the most recent revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope, which has bestowed astronomers with glimpses into cosmic phenomena that elude straightforward explanation. The Webb Telescope has captured light emanating from 44 galaxies that took shape in the initial 500 years of the universe. According to the conventional model of cosmology, which posits the universe to be 13.8 billion years old, the emergence of stars and galaxies within the initial 500 million years stands as a cosmic spectacle that defies complete comprehension. Yet, the narrative doesn't conclude here. Recent data derived from Webb's observations also discloses that the farther you delve, the greater the number of galaxies you encounter. In a meticulous 50-hour examination of the deepest realms of the cosmos, astronomers discerned some of the earliest galaxies to form immediately after the Big Bang. It becomes even more perplexing when one grasps that certain among these 40 early galaxies materialized a mere 200 million years post the Big Bang, not stars, but entire galaxies. It doesn't require rocket science to infer from this that the stars constituting these galaxies existed even earlier. Now let's delve into the more enthralling segment. Indeed, the Superstar Telescope continues to be a source of astonishing revelations. The data gleaned from this observation discloses that these ancient galaxies radiated an extraordinary quantity of energy into the cosmos, ten times more than what scientists had initially predicted. To comprehend this phenomenon, let's scrutinize the deep field image captured by Webb's Myrie instrument. This panoramic view of the cosmos showcases vibrant spiral galaxies in the foreground and an abundance of significantly older galaxies in the distant backdrop. Nearly all these entities are galaxies. Upon zooming in on three of the prominently red-shifted galaxies in the background, scientists uncovered that these galaxies were discharging unexpectedly immense amounts of energy. The data also implies that they likely formed within the initial 200 to 500 million years after the Big Bang when the universe was merely 1 to 5 percent of its current age. The pivotal question at this juncture revolves around how these galaxies emitted such an astronomical volume of energy into space.
scientists are confronted with only two plausible scenarios, the involvement of black holes or the presence of massive stars, surpassing even the scale of the red hypergiant stars prevalent in the contemporary universe. In pursuit of an answer, astronomers have employed sophisticated computational simulations to trace the evolution of the universe across billions of years. These simulations commence with the formation of the initial stars and galaxies, ultimately leading to the generation of fundamental organic materials conducive to life. However, ironically, they encountered a paradoxical situation. They could not discern any glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. No simulations foretold the occurrence of such extreme emissions of ultraviolet energy. So, what might elucidate this anomaly? Enter Rajendra Gupta's model. Scientists are diligently scrutinizing Gupta's theory. And in the not-too-distant future, we anticipate unraveling the authentic mystery underlying the origin tale of the universe.